YouTube, what is going on? So, first thing you might notice if you've been keeping up with this channel, a new backdrop. Literally just finished putting it up. I think it looks pretty clean. Still kept all the gadgets we've made. Plus I can actually wear like navy blue without it washing around out on the back. Anyway, some of you may remember, probably like four videos back, I showed you guys how to make a really cool like laser music system. Bounce the laser off a mirror. We created like a resonation chamber that would shake up the beam and it, uh, it creates some really cool visual patterns on the ceiling that would be synced up with music. Thought it was a really cool project. I even put it probably in my top five uh, of my favorite projects personally. But some stuff happened with YouTube. I think it got age restricted for a minute there. Um, like pretty much no one watched it. So I'm gonna bring a little bit more attention to it, um, simplify it down even more in this video, show you guys how you can do this yourself with, I would be surprised if you didn't have like at least almost all of the materials for this. And setup time is probably five minutes at most. Four minutes of those are actually finding the materials. For me, probably more like four hours. We're gonna make that build a lot simpler. Uh, I'll leave the link to the other laser video I made down in the description. Really cool, please go check that out as well. The way it works, we created a resonation chamber out of a balloon and uh, we attached a mirror to the balloon. Pretty much when the pressure waves from the music uh, vibrate the balloon, the mirror shakes and we pointed a laser right at the mirror. So the laser bounces off the mirror, goes onto the ceiling or whatever else you're pointing at and it uh, like shakes up according to how strong the pressure waves are from the music. Um, it's just a really cool visual effect. But today we're gonna be making that even simpler. So materials for this project, all you need is any ordinary laser pointer. Obviously like the higher powered ones will look cooler. Um, and if you have like the field view ones that I've been using, um, these ones, then uh, yeah, I personally think those look the coolest. So as well as using my like field view laser, I'll also be showing you guys with this ordinary um, red laser that you can get like pretty much anywhere. If you have any of those like Christmas C lasers, stuff like that, you can buy those I think at CVS or something like 20 bucks or Amazon, link, I'll link it below. Pretty cheap device. You can also use that laser with this concept um, to get a very cool effect. And even if you're not gonna use this for some sort of like crazy visual lights party, whatever, it's still a really cool and very easy thing to try. Like I highly recommend doing this. So here's how to make probably the world's simplest laser light show that goes to the music. So, this is my previous laser system. But you can actually achieve this same effect using an ordinary laser pointer and a CD. You're not gonna be able to reuse it either. Um, rip Super Mario Galaxy. To get better results though, actually try and use a real mirror. Um, like shower mirrors are made of plastic so you can cut them without them breaking. So the first thing you're gonna need to make this work is a speaker system. Now the louder the speaker system, the better this will work. But the more low ends I should say, the better this will work. Uh, because the low ends are what really makes things uh, shake around. So like the speaker I'm gonna be using actually has an exposed subwoofer. So you can actually see the subwoofer moving around. So I'm gonna be attaching my reflective uh, surface directly to that. And I'm not gonna be attaching it very uh, very securely uh, because I do want to take this off and I don't really want to ruin my subwoofer. But if you don't want to use this method of attaching it, you can uh, probably just attach it to the grill. Like uh, if the subwoofer is loud enough, uh, it should vibrate enough for you to get some sort of effect uh, for this. So yeah, you play around with it a little bit though. Uh, find the space that uh, shakes the most when you really turn up the bass and uh, that's where you want to attach your reflective surface to. So all you have to do, right, is take your CD and uh, cut out a square, uh, maybe like a half inch by half inch. Then what you want to do is grab your laser pointer uh, and I'm going to be using a couple of binder clips to just hold it in place. But the thing you're going for is uh, 
aiming it at the reflective surface and then having it bounce off in a place that uh, you want to see the pattern. So we'll take the binder clip, clip one of them on, and then like, I don't know, take the other one, clip it on like that. And then we've got ourselves a nice little stand. So it's gonna stand up pretty much wherever. Bounce it off of the uh, reflective surface and uh, yeah, onto the wall. Another thing you do wanna do is uh, when you hook these binder clips up, just have them uh, over the power button so uh, it'll always stay on. So yeah, holding that down for that whole time manually will get a little bit exhausting. Yeah, we've got a fully automatic laser right now. Again, this isn't high enough power to do any damage to your eyes. And honestly, when the laser is super spread out like this, uh, any one beam isn't really gonna do that much damage to your eyes. That's why they can sell them in like stores like CVS. Yeah, it pretty much just splits up a really high-powered laser into a bunch of little lasers. That I think looks better for this experiment because, uh, again, it's just so many more of these little lasers doing really cool stuff to the music uh, rather than just one. But if you do want to just try this out and see how it works, uh, one laser beam is all you need to see the pattern. So. Alright guys, there you go. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Just a fun little trick to do. Not a lot of effort, not a lot of money. Very cool. All the recipes for a fun time. So I'm gonna read a couple comments uh, from my last video. Just trying to hear what you guys have to say. So comment down below what you want me to read off in the next video. Kid Fury comments, I have an idea for a new series where the commenter proposes a spy situation to him and he uses his gadgets to figure out how to get out of it. Could be a fun game. Let me know down below what uh, spy situations I should try and get out of. Uh, this guy comments, Please give me your phone number. Okay, yeah, it's uh, 867-5309. Call me. And a lot of people seem to be commenting uh, that I should make a full-on super suit with all of my stuff combined in it. Uh, it does seem like a cool idea. It is a very large-scale project, though. Uh, I've got school currently. It does sound very interesting, though, so uh, maybe when I have more time. Though. So if you did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also subscribe. Leave your comments down in the description of uh, ideas or just funny stuff you want me to read on video. Um, that's all I've got for this one, guys. Take it easy, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.